it's day four now and this is where all the action has been happening you can see they've got the expansion vessel up on the wall and plenty of the new pipe work I think that's some sort of pressure relief valve that has gone in there and some isolators of course the old cylinder is gone but they've thrown all their tools and stuff back in so you can't really see the floor where it was the electrician has made a bit more progress with the cabling and the trunking capping going on and that's followed through to downstairs I'll go and show you how they got on in the garage with the boiler so the electrician's just finishing up work here um, you can see they've uh, lined up a few of the breakers there for the various feeds we got we got a main at 40 amp 20 16 and a 16 and the big one the surge protector um, that comes straight in from the meter so those have gone together there we go good riddance to the gas boiler um, as they found out when they were doing pressure tests I think the gas boiler internally the gas valve was leaking something like 20 millibars of pressure something along those lines so it was definitely wasting us lots and lots of money throughout the year there's no doubt about that now you can see where the incoming mains uh, comes out of the meter comes in here and then we're dropping oh I should video from there comes up to here and then you can see where it splits out so this is for the new board and this is for the existing uh, consumer unit the, there's one more clamp there but otherwise no more work no more uh, action for this end so no more um, no more plumbing has happened at the heat pump end but the electrician's been busy we've got two cables there one is for the power and one is for the data and they come around here clamped up and then they run all the way along all the way and then you see the data is going straight in there where the controller is going to be and the power runs all the way up to the front there so that's what we're looking like from the outside and that's where the boiler was okay i can't remember if i showed you that this is all plumbed in now in our new vertical radiator installation and i think i showed that it was sleeved in the 22 mil and then 50 millimeter runs that will be capped it comes down here in here we got new radiator today so this was a type 21 or a p plus it was a twin panel a single convector we've gone for a double convector so um that meant adapting the pipe work a little bit because uh, we'd already brought it out for the P plus so it was max but anyway that's a 700 high by 1400 wide so a big boy that one here in the hallway we did have a 700 by 600 uh, P plus or type 21 now we've gone for a 700 high by 1400 wide uh, it's still a type 21 a p plus so we haven't increased the depth at all it's still the same depth but of course we've uh, more than doubled the width of it going from a 600 to a 1400 which should really help the whole hallway the landing and have the knock-on effect there which is good stuff and um, managed to get this end in without any modifications to the pipe work but because of the added width that's where the original bit came out and had to bend it and bring it over here into the new TRV so you can see that's because of the extension needed all right in here in the study uh, this is a radiator that I supplied and I hung on the wall and they've just connected up the pipe work so this is a 750 tool by one meter 1000 mil 
wide and this is again a type 21 p plus and um, they've just managed to just adapt up the pipe work which needs a little bit of work making good but um, they've managed to get that all together now so that's the end of day four we currently don't have any heating or hot water and it's not the warmest day but we're hopeful now they've broken the back of it tomorrow they should be flying